I always wanted to be a musician and uh, my <laughs> and I have a south indian father so it was a very rocky relationship with him and he sent me for btech in andhra pradesh i ran away from hostel i came back to delhi he put me into law i quit that finally somehow established myself in delhi as a small musician and later on i became a part of rally for rivers and i volunteered myself some big explosion happened within me yesterday and i told my like uh, i got a link on a whatsapp group by wingaka saying that we could volunteer ourselves for the next 3 years as being part of the rally for rivers thing so i registered myself yesterday and i told my father that i'll be leaving everything and what are you leaving man you got nothing you left the <laughs> that's all <okay. laughs> so he everybody likes to make some drama about it. i'm leaving everything <laughs> what the hell are you leaving <laughs> so my father got really angry because he saw me settling into something after a very long time and he was like this is not what you want to do and he became so angry that he called you a spiritual terrorist <laughs> and he wanted me to ask you this that what is my responsibility as a son for my parents and i want to ask you this that am i doing the right thing <laughs> i believe that i am doing the right thing there are no right things to do in life if you choose something and put everything that you have into it it will become a great thing is it the right thing is it the best thing when you say is it the right thing what you are asking is is it the best thing to do in life there is no best thing to do in life anything that you take up and if you put your heart and soul into it it becomes a great thing is it the best thing no then what is the best thing there is no such thing there is really no such thing and now that you have duties towards your parents tell me whether it's to yourself or to your parents or to anybody don't look at yourself as a a deliate or an idiot whatever you want to call yourself <laughs> if you're just a piece of life hmm hello yes. and today you're here one day you'll be poop gone you're a brief life I want you to just imagine you've seen those insects which come when it rains you know ants which fly suppose you were that you just came alive and gone that's what you are just compared to the span of your life the insect's life is looking so meaningless and pop 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 and gone that's what the rivers are thinking about you pop 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 and gone is yes or no compared to their life span you are just like that insect or less than the insect isn't it so but you don't know what the insect is thinking but at least you i want you to think and see it's a bloody brief life both for you and your father and uh, don't you ever take this south india in a negative turn <laughs> as if a south indian father is some terrible <laughs> phenomenon <laughs> you tell your father i defended his south indian <laughs> origins in this in this culture people desperately wanted to have a son not because they had a kingdom to rule because they believed if they have a child because the girl will get married and go off somewhere if the son is there he will be there and make sure that before they die he will take them to kashi or he will take them to the right place and see that they get mukti that is the entire process of life here because 
we saw the very process of life and its exuberant flying around for some time and poof, this itself is a trap. Suppose you remembered one hundred lifetimes of coming up, flying around, falling in love, reproducing, South Indian or North Indian <laughs> and uh, Kayantastanam. Suppose you remembered hundred happenings like this, would it become meaningless? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Because of loss of memory, Everything is looking fresh, yes? So, your fundamental duty towards yourself and your father is just to remind them of this. It's all right, what your father calls me, what does it matter? He is after all South Indian <laughs> So are you doing the right thing? I don't know, sir. All I know is this needs to be done and those who do it with all that they have will find fulfillment. I am not somebody who ever deba debated, is this the right thing to do in my life? What was needed? I jumped into it because if you are a constipated life, you will always be thinking about what to do, what not to do, what to do, what not to do, what is my passion, what is not my passion. Why the hell are you not passionate about everything? Hello? Yes. Why are you not passionate about everything in the existence? You're only passionate about one thing, means what? You're constipated, that's what it means. Idiots do things that they don't like to do, suffer for their whole life because they think it's needed or they think it's their duty. Intelligent people do what they love to do. They enjoy their life to some extent. But a genius learns to do what is needed joyfully, that's when your genius flowers because it's no more about you. Now there's a limitless way of looking at life. So every aspect of this rally or many other things we have done, I don't even have to tell people that this must happen, this must happen, this must happen. A few things, yes. Rest of it, I just make it up in my mind and I know it must happen and it will happen. Not because… not because I am exercising my will over the world, because I am just fulfilling the will of the world, that's all.